how many times have you or John been peed on? <laughs> you know, this is really crazy. <laughs> Mark the paper. This is what they're doing. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, <laughs> I couldn't reach it. Let me see, let me see. Let me see. <laughs> Kids are doing this. So we, every night we read Wait, this we with going? everybody. And every day you get to mark a different one out. So if it's <laughs> Sunday, then you mark off whatever day of the week it is. They speak vanity, everyone with his neighbor, with flattering lips and with a double heart do they speak. I have prevailed against him in those that trouble. It has been a bit of a hectic week, to say the least. Um, Macy is potty training, which is fun. I am not a huge um, potty train person. I always say the stages of parenting. There's a few that I don't love. Potty training is one of those that I am not the biggest fan of. And I think that that's just primarily because every time I think that they have it, it just always goes south and never like fails. So anyway, <laughs> that's fun. So she's potty training and then Rhett is literally cutting two teeth at the same time and he has been just beside himself like having such a hard time so it's also another thing that we currently have going on so um anyway my brother warden has been here for almost two weeks i think has he been here for two weeks uh something like that like almost like a week yeah. and a half or something well he left for a little bit and then came back so he's actually leaving soon oh, look, and so here. with the week and everything going on he's like mm. i'll watch the kids and y'all can go out so it's um, really nice, actually. We so, need it. So, now that all the kids are in bed um, and sleeping, we are going to take a very much needed little break. Where are we going to go, anyway? And go to dinner somewhere. Where do you want to I go? I was going to hold that up to show you, but you're, like, so tall. I know. It's the struggle that we have. I'm not showing the house because it's... Um, oh, you're showing it. The usual. It's uh, very... Okay, it's well... Don't look. If you stand, <laughs> if you stand right here, yeah. then no one will see. Look, it just looks like we live here. That's Kay. the goal. No, I actually have to put my shoes on. So the Bible chart is, the whole Bible is mapped out through for 365 days. I assume I didn't count them up. Yeah. So it's like spaced out. It's like different it's sections 52. for each day. So yeah. yeah, 52 weeks. So Monday through Friday, and then each day. So say it's like Sunday or Monday or whatever. Each day has. Uh, like three or four chapters that you read. So say it's like Genesis 20 through 23 for Monday. And then the next day it's like Matthew 6, 7, and 8. Something like that. So it may, it keeps it mixed up so you don't get bogged down in some of the books of the Bible that uh, like maybe Numbers or Leviticus, a lot of genealogies. Yeah, I They can bog you down. This is a random something, but a while back like last month, my Bible got stolen, which is ridiculous, but someone stole my Bible. It was in a of bag, so say. it didn't look like it was my Bible. It was literally sitting in, or like I had this bag, and I had like my Bible, and I was doing a Bible study that I was going through, and it was literally both of those things, and, and my like AirPods, or like my Beats, which are basically AirPods, gone. Someone stole the bag, and it's gone. So, unfortunately, <laughs> my Bible that I have it's literally had 
since I was like 12 years old. It's all my okay. notes. Of all the things all to take, they're probably really surprised. So they're, I was very disappointed really about surprised. that, but I got a new Bible. Well, ignore my highlighters. I just put the highlighters on the front because I like to highlight. But look how cool this Bible is. It like is like so neat. It's just like has all this space that you can put like notes See, and stuff in. You can God, write in you it. Need an upgrade. Yeah, and the front. I can't show cool you the front you because I have days. all my things on it. But like, look how cool. Like it has all of this like really pretty. Anyway, we go back to the Gutenberg Bible. That's like super random, but I just thought I'd show my Bible There's because no it's super cool. In that one. <laughs> well, I like this Bible. I'm like <laughs> I have never had like a note taking Bible. I just had like a really cheap like. My parents got me something when I first, sorry, the lighting's really rough over there. Um, my Bible got, my parents got me a Bible like when I first, um, like started reading and stuff. Well, I guess it wasn't when I first started reading because that would be embarrassing if I was reading at 12. Um, but <laughs> I was reading before then, but it was the first time they were like, oh, like you're old enough, like the show commitment, you can read through the Bible. So they got me a Bible and I've literally had the Bible for years and years and years and years. So it was kind of sad that it got taken, but anyway. We're gonna go out and enjoy a relaxing dinner without children. Mm. It's so, gonna be great. See you guys. I love it. It's needful. We thought we would, we have done on here a lot, like, randomly, like, Q&As and stuff, and we always say to y'all, why don't you ask us some questions on here, and I feel like no one ever, like, we never go through them. I'm going to go through Looks some of like these comments that are on our YouTube Q&A videos that y'all asked and answer some of your questions, just for fun. Oh, this is going to be so. interesting. <clears throat> Cause you never know. So we asked you guys a while back if you would prefer videos where we do like more lengthy videos on specific topics of us talking like, for example, on parenting a two year old or going through the terrible twos or something like that. Um, like a, a full a video on just that or like if we would like, you would prefer a vlog. So this person was like, I would prefer prefer like the vlog style videos showing activities with the kids, please. So more vlogs with the oh, kids. Oh, that's a good one. John is so positive, such a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, whoever that person is, Katie. The one oh, you read about Michelle yourself. Michelle Peak. There you go. A cleaning series. Okay, but we tell never me this. clean. How do you film a cleaning series? <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming you just film yourself cleaning, but is that a thing? How is homeschooling going? Great. Most days. Some days it's a struggle, but the girls are doing really well with their school. Nobody asked me a question. Do you sleep train? I sleep train myself every night. <laughs> How do you deal with postpartum weight? We're working on it. We're working out together. Six days a week. It's getting there. I'm using the Sweat app right now and I was doing C25K, which is a running app, but now I'm just like running on my own because I'm trying to train to run longer distances. Does all of John's family live in Florida near you? Literally right oh. there. Uh, no. Only my three brothers live here. My two sisters live elsewhere. One lives in North Florida. One, the other one lives in Texas with all their kids, so. Sadly, not everybody. The I wish they did. The obvious, do you and John want more children? I feel like I get bored of answering this question. Uh, yes, who doesn't want more children? <laughs> what? No! Listen, I mean, I want more children. I don't want wanting to have more, children more children and having more children. 
Yes, mm. ev we would want a hundred kids, but we can't have a hundred kids. There's that. Did you want John to ask you out the first time you met him? Huh. No. But what is the first thing you notice when you go into someone's home? Um, <laughs> Sadly, I noticed all the air conditioning stuff. <laughs> I would say the decorations probably. When do you anticipate moving into a bigger home? Bigger? We just got here. <laughs> but we've already outgrown it. Funny how that happened. Probably like next week. No. That's when I anticipate it, but it doesn't always happen. I would say at least a few years. Like if, if we had a plan. Like at least one. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any hobbies? Tell them about your most recent hobby that you've done one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've been playing pickleball. It's a hobby. Okay, you did playing. It once. I played pickleball one time, and it's actually really fun. It's yeah. like he even got a bat. Not a bat. A paddle. <laughs> a paddle. A paddle. I'd honestly probably have played better with, with like a, bat. a holy ball. <laughs> What's a good book to read? The Bible. Come on now. How many times have you or John been peed on? <laughs> you know this is really crazy. <laughs> Because he has everyone not one more, time done you it. took my punchline. Oh, sorry. Punchline. Okay. Not one yeah, time. Yeah, he actually hasn't. <laughs> okay. One time when he was just barely born, I was on my bed, like changing him in the middle of the night or something. I had one of those bed pad things down because, you know, postpartum. And he, like, kind of peed, but it wasn't, like, at my face or anything. It, like, started and I yeah. was like, <gasps> he literally has it. But he, he never, he never first... peed on us whatever amount of times I used to put the diaper over it because I was like, everybody says they just pee on you once the air hits it. So I just cover I, it over. He I never know, has. Now I don't pees. even do it. What grade is your girls in school this year? So Allie is in fourth grade, Lexi's in second grade, Zoe is in first grade, and Macy is like preschool. Do you play an instrument? Oh, no, we are not. Yes, that. this is no. the one. Absolutely Alyssa not. plays the violin and she likes to deny it. <laughs> but she does. I've seen it with my eyes. It's Did. been a long, a long time. time. And I don't have a bow, but so I can't play. With how talented she is, I bet she could pick it up. Talented? You need a bow. John, I'm Let's like get a you beginner. a bow. Like, a bow? Oh, like a. a yeah. Okay. Thank you for that. <laughs> Obviously. Okay, so we're gonna get you a bow. Do you have your violin? Somewhere yes, around the it's house? in the closet actually. <laughs> How do you and John find compromise if you have different spending habits? Oh yeah, I thought that was the last one. I know, but I was reading that and that was interesting. And I don't want to talk about me playing instruments. We just spend until the bank says no more. <laughs> what a life we live. <laughs> Okay, I guess that's it, guys, so. That <laughs> you was should probably actually answer that question. It was oh. a very serious question. Okay. I haven't made not serious. So go ahead, answer that question. How do we do that? Find compromise with our spending habits? Yeah. Uh, we don't. I think. Well, I think we do. Yeah, we we do. more or less trust each other's judgment. Some people are not good with money, and that would not work. Other people are really good with money and that would work well. I feel like we both have a good balance. I would say it's because we with don't it. spend big, if this makes sense. We don't spend on big things typically unless we've already kind of discussed or talked about it before between us. Yeah. Our like main buying problem a is car we like or... buy little things. So the little things do add up, but it's not like we're buying, hey, I'm gonna get a new laptop this week. Like, obviously we've talked about that. But if you're like, well, oh, I need a new charger for my, yeah, you know, I would then say we order a charger. And they're then, always necessities for either like us or the kids. Typically it's like, oh, our charger broke, we're, bu we're buying a new one. Or this particular kid needed a new headset for their like school. Things that are typically like, general items that they need that we already know have to be replaced we don't like budget it out we're like okay obviously they need this item so we need to buy it for them but yeah. as far as like just excessive spending i mean yeah. i'm sure we do but we try we try to yeah. not just spend we, did, on we have anything a pretty good balance I would all say. the time i would say we have a pretty good balance but i do like to shop i just don't really get to do it that often just because i have so many kids but i do enjoy to shop yeah, so to answer Sometimes. your question, you're on your own. <laughs> we don't know. 
We're still figuring it out. What do we know? That was kind of fun. I do love answering these Maybe questions. Maybe we'll do a I real every Q and I do love it. Like a full video Q and A um, coming up sometime soon. But or an assumption video. Which would you prefer, assumptions, which we've only ever done one time, or would you prefer like Q and A, like more current? An assumption Q &A. video is kind of like a Q and A. It is, but it's more like people, obviously, like or I feel like it's more of a trash. Maybe video. we just need to go live. I feel like that's very hard to do. Yeah, let's stick with assumption or Q and A. Give us your best. But I love doing improv. Like I never read the questions before. Like I read them right here. That's where I see them because it's way Hi. more fun. I'm not doing a live, but thank you for that. Maybe I will. All right, guys. <laughs> we shall see you next time. <laughs> Goodbye. See ya. Thanks for watching.